Everybody, go get your stuff. We're going on a trip to Antarctica. Hello, everybody. Mark here with another episode of The Geo Show, brought to you today by The Geo Scholar. Antarctica, that continent at the South Pole, known for a cold, hostile environment, one of the smallest continents in the world. And yet, there is so much about this continent that is just so important in terms of our environment, so much to be explored. Antarctica is the southernmost continent in the world. It is the fifth smallest continent. It is the only continent without a permanent population. Antarctica has the highest average elevation of any continent. It is the coldest and windiest continent in the world as well. Despite all appearances, Antarctica is technically a desert. It is the driest continent in the world. Antarctica was the last continent to be discovered by humans. Antarctica comes from the Greek Antarktikos, meaning opposite of the Arctic. 98% of Antarctica is comprised of the Antarctic ice sheet. It is the world's largest ice sheet. The Antarctic ice sheet is the largest reservoir of freshwater in the world. With the breaking of the Larsen Sea ice shelf, there have been concerns about the melting of Antarctica's ice sheets. While Antarctica's sea ice has been expanding, there are still concerns about Antarctica's ice sheets. This is what Antarctica looks like with its ice sheet. This is what Antarctica's bedrock looks like underneath that ice. Antarctica may seem like a far off place, but it is so important in terms of the atmospheric and oceanic circulation that goes on in the world. Look for Antarctica on this map and then look for the Atlantic Circumpolar Current. This is a current that drives many other currents in the Southern Hemisphere. This ocean current influences the circulation of several ocean gyres. If the ice caps melt, this will reduce the solidity of the water as well as the density of the ocean water. This would disrupt ocean currents as ocean currents are often driven by the density of salt water. You have ocean currents that are driven by Antarctica. You have so much that has to be considered. The ice sheets are very important for Antarctica. And in a time where we have global warming and climate change taking place, it is especially important to watch the ice sheets. We're all thinking about what if all the glaciers in the world melt. And yes, that is important, but we should also be watching our ice sheets, especially the Antarctic ice sheets. That is the largest reservoir of fresh water in the world. All of that locked up in that ice cap. There is just so much about Antarctica we still don't know. It was the last continent to be discovered by human beings. And for that, there's still so much we're trying to figure out. Because it has historically been a very inaccessible climate, there's still stuff we're trying to figure out. For instance, with while the Arctic Ocean sea, height, sea ice has been melting and has been on the decline for many years, it has been increasing in Antarctica. There's still some stuff we don't know. And this is why it's important to understand geography. It is important to understand that what happens here, it isn't just about this location or that location, it's about how the world's connected. And Antarctica is one part of that. If you like this video, check out other videos on my channel. And as always, do not forget to like and subscribe.